Voltaire once said, the best is the enemy of good. Let's talk about how we can apply that to our reselling business. Hey guys, Steve from Resell Dojo back. I bet you never thought you would hear Voltaire being quoted on a reselling channel, but that is a quote that has followed me uh, throughout a couple of jobs and one of my last jobs that I had, one of my other product managers loved to say it and it really, really, really holds true. And what it means is the best is the enemy of good is a lot of people try to make everything perfect before being okay with moving on to the next thing or completing it. And I feel like a lot of people use that as an excuse for when it comes to reselling. Um, I know I use it as an excuse for a lot of things. When I was young, I was a perfectionist. It was something I had to actually work on because I would always need everything to be perfect. And I actually went and worked with doctors and stuff on how not to be perfect. And now I can tell you I am cured. I am not perfect <laughs> at all. But uh, what I've learned is that trying to be perfect in things will definitely hold you back when it comes to trying to complete things or even just to start things. And what I mean is I have a few people have reached out to me like, hey, how do I get started reselling? And a lot of it is the worry of making a mistake. And when you worry about making a mistake, that could really paralyze you into not be willing to try something, to do something, whether it's reselling or something else altogether. But if you worry and dwell on that imperfection, that chance of an imperfection in what you are doing is definitely going to hold you back. And it could hold you back from not even trying anything. It could hold you back from wasting a lot of time on something that you would have maybe completed a long time ago, but you're so worried about making sure this minuscule little thing is perfect before you are willing to complete and move on to the next thing. Now, personally, I know I have this perfection issue when it comes to listing items. If I have bought an item that I deemed that was worthy to be listed, but this item has maybe a small imperfection or it's gonna take me a little bit more time to list, I will hold that thing off to the side for as long as possible. And I know that is an issue that I have myself when it comes to my business and how I run it. One key strategy that has helped me push past this, and I have to remind myself to do this, is to set deadlines for myself. Now for like listing, if I had like five items that I had put off to the side and I deemed them as like imperfect items, what I should do is set a deadline goal for myself. Be Okay, in the next two hours, all five of these need to be listed and just like put away, all done. And I can't do anything else until those are done because once you set that deadline for yourself, that is gonna be a key motivator for you to just get it done. And what you want to make sure is that you don't get into the habit of pushing them off, delaying them, anything like that. But by setting yourself like a hard, fast deadline and hold yourself to it, maybe tell your loved one, uh, hey, I'm going to go do this. Hold me to this. I want you to yell at me or anything like that if I don't do it. You know, have some accountability partner uh, that's going to be able to help you out. Um, that will really, really, really hold you to it. I know for myself as well, when I have other things outside of reselling, like maybe I need to like schedule like five appointments. If my wife's like, hey, you need to get these five things done by, you know, Tuesday, you know, that is accountability that's held to me um, that I will hold that as well over myself because I have another person relying on me for that and I want to meet that deadline. So if you ever have issues of being able to progress through your business, maybe even start something when it comes to your business, think about setting some deadlines for yourself and it'll really help you out. And the best thing about setting those deadlines is you're going to start to gain momentum when it comes to whatever you're doing. Once you complete, say, those five listings that you needed to get out, 
you're going to have that momentum. You're going to see the progress that you're making. You're going to see the growth that you're having within your store, within your business, and you're going to want more of that as well. So setting deadlines is actually how I get most of my stuff prepped right now. When I am batching items, I'll say, okay, all the cleaning, you know, sticker removal, all that type of stuff needs to be done within the next 45 minutes. And then after that, I'll give myself X number of minutes again to get everything photographed. And then after that, I need to remind myself that I need to give myself X number of minutes to get everything listed. And I think that's probably where my sticking point is. That is where my perfection issue is when it comes to certain things. So as an entrepreneur, you know, once you start gaining that momentum, you're gonna just be snowballing that over and over and over, and you're gonna be able to grow. Whether it's business or life, you have to remember, you don't have to be perfect to get going. You don't have to do everything 100%. You just have to get started. And I think that's the main thing when it comes to a lot of resellers on there as well. Like They're like, hey, I wanna go and do this in my business, but you know what? I don't know everything about it and I feel like I'm gonna make a mistake. The number one thing that helps you grow is making mistakes. And the more mistakes you make, you know, the more that you're gonna grow and you're gonna learn from it. Um, don't make too many, right? <laughs> you don't wanna make too many when it comes to it, but all the little mistakes that you make is what's gonna make you a better business person and gonna help you out in the long run. So don't be afraid to make a mistake. Don't be afraid to try something because once you start trying it, that's going to be how you get that ball rolling. That's going to be how you're going to be learning. And that's how you're going to be growing as well. And I'm not saying all this for you guys as well. I'm saying this to myself. I'm going to go back and watch this probably quite often because I need to remind myself, hey, I do not need to be perfect to get going. I do not need every aspect of my business to be perfect. I know it's not, but... I know there are certain parts that I hold up to a certain level that I need to bring down a little bit just to push through and make sure I'm breaking through plateaus that I have in my business to really keep them growing. So I hope this little rambling helps you guys out. For myself, I'm going to make sure I go back and watch this every so often just to remind myself, hey, you know, you don't have to hold up certain parts of your business to certain standards. Just get going. Push through those plateaus that you need to push through. Just get going, grow that business to where you want to be because you need to get uncomfortable and just get going and on to the next thing instead of dwelling on certain aspects that you feel that need to be perfect but don't really need to be. So thank you guys once again. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. I put out reselling content two to three times a week. Also smash the thumbs up for me as it'll really help out my channel. And down in the comments, let me know what is the one item in your business that you want to push through and just get going through it. Just do it, get it done, and move on from it. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.